So before we talk about how to make your WordPress site more search engine friendly, the first thing we'll need to do is just a little bit research on keywords to make sure that you're going the right direction. Now I want to talk about a sneaky trick that you can use to make sure that your content, your titles, your everything about your WordPress site is Google search engine friendly. And we're going to be talking about LSI or latent semantic indexing in LSI for short. But basically what this is all about is you want to make sure that your content has a lot of different keywords that are related to each other. So when Google comes to your WordPress site and looks at your content, it knows exactly what you're trying to say. So let's say for example, that you are writing an article, about roof re replacement. So obviously you need to have the word roof, you need to have the word replacement, but not only that, you need to have other words such as shingles, nails, and other things that relate to replacing a roof. So that when Google comes to your site, it knows it's exactly about replacing roofs and not something else that might be different. The easiest and most simplest way to do that is by simply going to the Google Keyword Planner and you can go to Google and search for the Google Keyword Planner. You do need to have a Google account and you'll need to go ahead and log in. Now, the reason why I'm using Google Keyword Planner is because this tool is going to be here for a long, long time. And what a better way to get keywords than from Google themselves. So what you want to do is up at the top, you will have four different options here, but you'll want to choose the first one that is search for new keyword and add group ideas. So in essence, Google has already created for you ad groups. So let's say for example, roof replacement. We'll just type that in and you can specify this information if you would like to, I'm not, really interested in that now I just want to know related keywords so I'm going to click on get ideas and let's see what they give us now you can look at the ad groups if you would like to the first thing I want to look at is the keyword ideas because that'll give us an idea of the database that Google has of keywords that relate to roof replacement so if Roof replacement is our general WordPress site. Then we can kind of get an idea of different articles that we could write on. So we could write on articles on roof replacement costs. And you can see different variations of the same keyword. Roof replacement calculator, flat roof replacement, and so forth and so forth and so forth. So obviously we see different types of roofs and it's mainly about estimates and different types of roofs how to repair roofs and the cost and so forth. Now, if we go to add group ideas and what I recommend as you're going through here is just copy and paste these to notepad. So if you open up notepad here and just simply, let's say for example, okay, this sounds interesting. Maybe I'll do something about roof replacement costs due to you know, repairs and such like that. So we can just copy and paste stuff that relates to our article. And right now it's not really the intent of trying to figure out what article to write on, but just grabbing a bunch of keywords that Google has in their database. Cause you can always go down later down the road and write content about this down the road. But what we're trying to find are keywords that they deem as related to the main keyword. Okay, so roofing materials. Click on that, that gives you a list of keywords that you could potentially use in your article as your title, as in your description, and more. So you see where I'm going here? You're really using the Google Keyword Planner to get an idea of related keywords. Because you're gonna need these later down the road when you create your content, when you customize your pages and posts when it comes to the WordPress search engine optimizing plugin that, that we use.
So hopefully that gives you some ideas on getting keywords to be used in your WordPress site.